cell is the electrochemical cell that converts the chemical energy of a fuel, often hydrogen, and an oxidizing agent, often oxygen, into electricity. Fuel cells are different from most batteries in requiring a continuous source of fuel and oxygen to sustain the chemical reaction. The type of electrolyte utilized, its operating temperature and potential usability describe and classify a fuel cell. Different types of fuel cells include alkaline fuel cell, polymer electrolyte membrane, direct methanol, phosphoric acid fuel cell, molten carbonate and solid oxide fuel cells. Let us start with alkaline fuel cells AFCs. Hydrogen and oxygen gas are bubbled into the electrolyte through porous carbon electrodes. These fuel cells use a solution of potassium hydroxide in water as the electrolyte and use a variety of non-valuable metals as a catalyst at the anode and cathode. It operates usually at 60 to 80 degrees Celsius. A significant drawback for this fuel cell is its susceptibility to carbon dioxide contamination. Alkaline fuel cells were used as primary source of electrical energy in the Apollo space program. Polymer electrolyte membrane PEM fuel cells Also known as proton exchange membrane fuel cells, they only require hydrogen, oxygen from the air and water to operate. PEM fuel cells use a solid polymer as an electrolyte and porous carbon electrodes containing a platinum catalyst. Usually fueled with pure hydrogen supplied from storage tanks or reformers. PEM fuel cells operate at relatively low temperatures around 80 degrees Celsius. Low temperature operation allows them to start quickly. The platinum catalyst is costly, also extremely sensitive to carbon monoxide poisoning, making it necessary to employ an additional reactor. This reactor also adds cost. PEM fuel cells are primarily used in transportation applications such as cars, buses and heavy duty trucks also in some stationary applications. Direct Methanol Fuel Cells DMFCs, They are powered by pure methanol which is usually mixed with water and fed directly to the fuel cell anode. Common operating temperatures are in the range of 50 to 120 degrees Celsius. Their main advantage is the ease of transport of methanol and energy density at reasonably stable liquid at all environmental conditions. Methanol is not only corrosive but also extremely toxic. Therefore, the highest safety regulations must apply during storage. They are used for off-grid power supply of measuring stations, monitoring systems, in portable devices and in small vehicles. Phosphoric Acid Fuel Cells PAFCs, They use porous carbon electrodes containing a platinum catalyst. They use liquid phosphoric acid as an electrolyte these cells commonly work at temperatures of 150 to 200 degrees Celsius. This high temperature will cause heat and energy loss if the heat is not removed and used properly. Using this heat in cogeneration can enhance the efficiency of phosphoric acid fuel cells from 40 to 50 percent to about 80 percent. They require much higher loadings of expensive platinum catalyst than other types of fuel cells which raises the cost. This type of fuel cell is typically used for stationary power generation and also find application in large vehicles such as buses. Molten Carbonate Fuel Cells MCFCs. MCFCs are high temperature fuel cells operating around 650 degrees Celsius that use lithium potassium carbonate salt as an electrolyte and this salt liquefies at high temperatures, allowing for the movement of charge that is carbonate ions within the cell. MCFCs do not require an external reformer to convert fuels such as natural gas and biogas to hydrogen. At high temperatures at which MCFCs operate, methane and other light hydrocarbons in these fuels are converted to hydrogen within the fuel cell itself by a process called internal reforming which also reduces cost. When the heat is captured and used, overall efficiencies can be over 85%. The main disadvantage is durability. The high temperatures at which these cells operate and the corrosive electrolyte accelerate component breakdown and corrosion, decreasing cell life. Since it has longer startup phase, they are being developed for coal-based power plants for electrical utility, industrial and military applications. 
solid oxide fuel cells (SOFCs) they use a hard, non-porous ceramic compound as the electrolyte. They operate at very high temperatures, as high as 1000 degrees Celsius. Due to high temperature, it allows SOFCs to reform fuels internally, which enables the use of variety of fuels, reduces the cost associated with adding a reformer to the system. However, operations of high temperatures also have inconveniences. The consequence is a slow starting and requiring thermal protection to maintain heat and different system components. Furthermore, it's suitable for utility applications but not for transportation. This for stationary use in power station and combined heat and power plants. Here is a quick comparison of different fuel cell types. Alkaline fuel cell AFC, anode gas is hydrogen, potassium hydroxide solution is used as an electrolyte, working temperature is around 60 to 80 degrees Celsius, 60 to 70 percent of efficiency used in space, military and backup power. Proton exchange membrane fuel cell PEMFC, hydrogen is used as anode gas, polymer membrane electrolyte with working temperature around 80 degrees Celsius, efficiency is 50 to 70 percent, applications are transportation such as cars, buses and heavy duty trucks. Direct methanol fuel cell DMFC, methanol is used as anode gas, electrolyte is polymer membrane, working temperature is 50 to 120 degrees Celsius with 30 to 40 percent efficiency used in off-grid power supply, portable devices and small vehicles. Phosphoric acid fuel cell PAFC, hydrogen, natural gas or biogas is used. Electrolyte is phosphoric acid with working temperature of 150 to 200 degrees Celsius, 40 to 50 percent efficiency used in stationary power generation large vehicles such as buses. Molten carbonate fuel cell MCFC, Hydrogen, natural gas, coal gas and biogas is used at the anode. Lithium, potassium, carbonate, salt is used as electrolyte. Working temperature is around 650 degrees Celsius with efficiency of 50 to 60 percent. Used in coal-based power plants, industrial and military. Solid oxide fuel cell SOFC. Hydrogen, natural gas, coal gas, biogas is used at the anode. Yttrium stabilized zirconium oxide is used as an electrolyte. Working temperature is around 1000 degrees Celsius with 60 to 65% efficiency used in stationary power stations.